Uh, I'm Henry Taylor from Blenheim Farm and uh, we run a company called TaylorMade Forage supplying ryegrass, hay and haylage and Timothy hay and haylage. Uh, we typically bale, if we can, depending on the weather, the grass will be ready by the last week in May, the first week in June and we typically bale at that time and then we bale again the second cut six, eight weeks later depending on the the season depending on how dry it's been and how quickly the grass heads again. Uh, rye grass is probably the most popular hay to feed to top competition horses and race horses. It's a clean, coarse grass, uh, fast growing, and it, and it contains good nutrients and can hold a good, good lot of protein in it compared to a meadow grass or a Timothy grass. Uh, and seems to be the most popular thing to send to a race yard. Uh, I judge quality on colour of grass. The colour of the grass when it's baled, obviously we like to maintain as much colour as we possibly can uh, for baling um, with the conditions we have baling. If you don't have um, enough dry, warm, windy weather or hot windy weather to, to cook the grass, um, the grass has to stay out longer. The longer the grass stays out, the worse the, worse the grass gets bleached. And bleached ryegrass hay does not look good. Uh, so the customers judge the quality on the coarseness of the grass and they judge the quality on the um, colour of the grass and obviously what a bale is like when it's opened up, whether it's clean and spore free and baled nicely. Um, Pre-preservative, we're relatively new in making high quality hay. Uh, compared to the guys who've been doing it a long time, we're fairly new to it. But pre an application kit on the baler and an additive, we've baled hay at 30% and we've stored it on the drying floor and we've blown it solidly. And sometimes we've had success and sometimes we haven't. And when we have had success on that system, you couldn't pick the bales up because we've blown most of the moisture out of it, so the bales were bad. Um, but other than that, We've moved to using the preservative, and since we started using the preservative, we've had far less problems than we've ever had before. Uh, we'd seen, you know, marketing stuff of Baylor's Choice, uh, and I have a good friend who makes a lot of seed hay. He'd been making seed hay for far longer than we have, and he had a Baylor's Choice applicator on, and just sort of researched through the internet, researched through him and their experience of it. Um, that's what made us by our first applicator um, and since we've had that we won't go baling unless we have baler's choice going into the bales because it's the only thing we can really use as peace of mind. Um, I think in terms of quality using baler's choice has extended both ends of the day our baling. We've been able to bail earlier and later which has improved the quality of our hay no end because we are able to bail more in a day and get more done and that's then passed on to the customer that we can more, mow more grass in a day because we know that when we get five days later we'll be able to handle that additional grass we've got on the floor because we can start earlier and go later and uh, obviously uh, mould spores and dust is a uh, absolute no-no for, for any horse really and we have complete faith in what we're doing that that is the case. Like I say we have the bales tested and we've had numerous people referred to us by uh, local vets who have horses with respiratory problems buy hay from us because they know the hay is tested and they know it's very rare that we have a problem with spores. Making ryegrass hay first cut is a difficulty because the weather at the start of June can sometimes be tricky. And that is when the grass is obviously a, a first cut first year or even first cut second year grass. The grass is at its thickest and it takes its longest to be dried out. However, with the use of Baylor's Choice and with hopefully good weather, it's enabled us to bale, which wouldn't be the norm 20 years ago, ryegrass hay first cut at that time of year, it wouldn't, 
it is sometimes possible without it, but it wouldn't be possible consistently to fill the sheds to make hay in June without Baylor's choice.